My name is David Bombal, and I'll be your presenter for this training. Welcome to this practical, software-defined networking and open flow fundamentals course. This course has the word practical in the title because I don't want to just talk about open flow and software-defined networking from a theory point of view. In this course, as much as possible, I'm going to demonstrate SDN and open flow practically. So for example, we're going to answer questions such as how does a single open flow table work? How do multiple open flow tables work? But rather than just talking about it, I'm going to demonstrate and show you how you can practically add flows to open flow switches using an application and then add those flow entries with different priorities within a single table or add multiple flow entries to different tables and then see the result of the flow entries you've added. This course has a very large focus on a practical implementation of software defined networking and open flow. And in this course, I'm gonna show you either how to install or download multiple controllers, including Open Daylight or ODL, the Open Networking Operating System or ONOS controller, the RAIHU controller, which is used by the NSA and their implementation of OpenFlow in the real world, as well as the HP Van Estien controller. I'm gonna show you these four controllers. Please provide feedback if there are other controllers that you would like me to add to the course. This course is a dynamic course, partly because OpenFlow and SDN are constantly changing. So I'll keep updating the course with new information as it becomes available. One of the new developments is that Microsoft have a version of Linux in their data centers. So a few years ago, that might have seemed impossible, but Microsoft now run Linux on their switches, implementing a version of software-defined networking to scale and rapidly deploy switches and make changes in their data centers. So this course will cover some of the fundamentals of OpenFlow. We'll contrast OpenFlow forwarding with traditional forwarding. We'll talk, as I mentioned, about single OpenFlow tables versus multiple OpenFlow tables. We'll discuss OpenFlow ports, such as the normal port or controller port. We'll discuss what a hybrid OpenFlow switch is. In this course, I'm gonna show you how to configure Mininet with various controllers. I'll show you Mininet topology options, such as linear, tree, and others. I'll show you how to change the subnet that Mininet uses. So rather than using the default IP addressing of Mininet, change it to something else. I'll also show you how to integrate Mininet with physical networks. I'll show you how you can run a web server on a Mininet host and connect to that web server from a physical PC. I'm also gonna show you how to enable OVSDB on Mininet so that Mininet can be programmatically changed via an application. In this case, a GRE tunnel will automatically be configured programmatically on a Mininet switch so that traffic can be captured. And talking about captures, I'm going to show you how you can use Wireshark to capture OpenFlow messages using Windows, as well as how to get and compile Wireshark on a Linux controller so that you can also use the OpenFlow filters to capture OpenFlow messages and then view messages such as hello messages, capabilities exchange, features request, packet ins, and other OpenFlow messages. As mentioned, I want to make this course as practical as possible. So I'm gonna show you practically how to configure OpenFlow networks, both on your laptop and in the real world. I'm gonna show you some practical use cases of OpenFlow and SDN, which you can use today in the real world. So three applications, which you can download as an example from the HP App Store, and install on a controller in your lab and then test OpenFlow practically are FlowMaker. It's a very useful application to update flows on switches. There's both a free version and a paid version. The free version is good enough for what we're doing in this course. The HP Network Visualizer application is a network tap that allows you to copy traffic from a host or a subnet as an example and forward that traffic through a tunnel to a Wireshark device anywhere in your network, including onto a non-OpenFlow network. 
The HP Network Protector application allows you to implement DNS interception on switches running OpenFlow. So you can capture DNS traffic on a switch on the edge of your network and have that local switch intercept DNS traffic and forward the traffic to a central station for higher layer analysis. So you could stop a user, as an example, from going to a malicious website, but allowing them to go to a good website. So in summary, this course explains OpenFlow and software-defined networking practically with lots of hands-on demonstrations. I'm gonna avoid as much as possible just explaining concepts from a high-level theoretical point of view. I'm going to show you real-world deployments of software-defined networking using OpenFlow. I'm gonna show you real-world applications that you can deploy today. I'm gonna to explain the concepts and implementation practically. And on top of that, I'm gonna give you OVAs so that you can import controllers into your lab, so you can import controllers into VirtualBox or VMware Workstation so that you can try this yourself at home. You can run an entire OpenFlow network on your laptop by using Mininet and any one of the controllers that we're discussing in this course. I'll show you where you can download applications from one of the biggest networking vendors out there, HP. So I'll show you how you can go to the HP website, go to their software-defined networking app store, download an application, install it on the HP controller, and practically deploy the SDN architecture in your lab or in your network today. So without further ado, let's get started.